Hi, welcome back to Ron the Robson. This is day four of our five day uh, or six day in a bit probably visit to uh, Thorpe Park caravan site in Barnet Castle. If I'm squinting a little bit, let's move around a second. It is because the sun is actually out. This is why I'm doing it outside for once rather than doing it indoors. Uh, and it stopped raining. So there you go. Uh, we've all been up, had some breakfast. The girls are going to walk along the shower. I did today take the wastewater along to the disposal point. We will do a review of the site. I think it's quite a nice site generally. But where we are is like a good eight, eight minute walk maybe. Maybe slightly less to the showers. But if you've got a very heavy, heavy waste master, that, that does take a bit of a toll trying to pull it all that way. There is another toilet block near us, but it doesn't have a, a waste disposal point either for the uh, LSAN or for the actual waste uh, master as far as I could see. Um, so that, that does take a bit longer. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick tour around where we are. So... I'll just flip the screen. So we've got... Uh, this is here. And this is a lone caravan that we have off um, Washington Caravans. It's a Swift Lifestyle 6 uh, TD. I think if we could afford it, we'd probably be able to buy that. And if fair, it's actually about the same price our uh, Tamar was, but we won't get the trading price, even though we've had a few niggles of it. Next to us, we've had a pot of trailer. They've been here since we got here from Saturday. I think they've been here before. They've clearly decided they're going home today. Love the Defender, quite a beauty. Swift's been here a while. Sterling came last night, which is interesting, because I think they're more, their battery must have died or doesn't have a battery I don't know because I had to actually hook it up to try and get the motor moving to work and obviously I think around the outside of here they're, they're, they're seasonals or mainly seasonals there was a few people in the pitches in the middle there just past the ranger they've gone it looks like they're also going to put some more statics here as well this is called the top field there are quite a few statics there and there's one of a tent near us there were, I don't know if you can see in the grass there, there was a tent on 27 and a tent on the one next to it, which I think is 28. Um, so I'll give you a little tour around while we're here. It's quite pleasant. The A66 is quite close and that's its advantage. Or if you don't like having road noise, that can be a disadvantage, but it isn't ridiculously loud. You can hear it, you get used to it. So past these trees here, uh, the electric point, uh, some trees here and the back of our caravan. There is a water point there. That is the longest ever uh, water point to fill something because it's got a bit of a hole in the pipe. They've kind of put some tape around it, but it takes an absolute age in order to fill. So I'll do that in a minute and leave it for 10 minutes while I have a cup of tea. There's a field down the bottom here, just past the tap and there's a bank down. And then as you can see, this is the bottom field, which the other day was absolutely heaving. You probably just see like a caravan through the trees there. There's pretty much nothing else there. I think I might even go for a walk down there, but the little one might take her for a walk down the bank and have a neb round there. We've already played spot which caravan do I like most on the site. So I think there's anything different down there that we'd probably go for. But there you go. So this is this is uh, this is us, our setup there, we've got the owner up. That extra space is really useful. Um Sun Camp 390 air, good awning, quite heavy. But since we were up here for a few days, we've decided to put the full on that because that extra break of space outside. So uh, later on, we're going to uh, my wife's uh, parents have rented a cottage. So we're going there about half 11. And as you can see, just inside there, my wife and the girls are just getting ready to go down to the shower. So we'll, uh, we'll catch up in a bit. Hi, so we're just about to go out to Lucy's mum's cottage, which is about 20, 25 minutes away. Uh, to have lunch there and spend, I think, most of the rest of the day there. Lisa says yes, so we'll catch up in a bit. See you later.
So we're back from my wife's uh, mum's and dad's like rented uh, cottage. We've been there for quite a while. Uh, we had some um, fish and chips for tea, so I'll put a picture of that in a second. And also I'll put a little bit of our walk up in a second. So next we're going to play uh, Scatch. <laughs> and Scatch is basically where you get the ball and you have to throw it to your partner and catch it. I'm not sure why it's called Scatch though. But okay, so we'll do a little bit of that, okay? Alright, so now we're going to go back with the bit, so you might have a bit of see it from slow play. Hi and also good night for Ron the Robsons on day four at Thorpe Park. Um, as I said, we haven't done as much film today because we've been out with the family. Um, so it's been a bit quiet in terms of kind of putting content together. Um, tomorrow we're going to go on our biggest day on day five. So if you don't let the girls know, I can tell you now where we're going. We're going to... No, I'm not going to tell you. You'll have to come back tomorrow. So once we got back and we played Scatch and I also went down to the park with the girls, uh, the two older girls, we then uh, decided we watch a family film. We've got a new uh, telly for the caravan and we'll do a movie review of that later and how that's going. It's one of them things It's thinking about, you know, you come away for family time, do you want to have a telly in the caravan? Now we've had a telly in the caravan before but it didn't have a DVD play and this one does. So we sat and watched Coco the film, which I've seen bits of but never seen the whole thing, so I've got to see the whole thing. Um, and we watched that for a bit, and so as that is family time, just putting the phones away, even if it is screen time, just kind of try and get away from anything else that's going on. So, uh, bye for now. Thank you for watching. If you don't already, maybe subscribe uh, and maybe give us a thumbs up for the video. And we'll see you for day five tomorrow, and you'll get to see where we're going our biggest day so far. Good night. <laughs>